Picture this. You're living in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Ancient ruins, stunning coastline, vibrant streets. But beneath your feet, something is waking up. In just the last seven days, seven days, 95 earthquakes have shaken the ground. Not over a month, not over a year. Something is ma, 95 earthquakes in one single week. This is Pozzuoli, Italy, home to half a million people. And right now, scientists have just confirmed something that changes everything we thought we knew about this place. The ground isn't just shaking anymore, it's splitting. The Shuthi, an entirely new fault. A massive fracture in the Earth's crust is forming beneath the city in real time. And if you think that sounds terrifying, wait until you hear what happened just six months ago. June 30th, 2025. Magnitude 4.6. Mondene D. The strongest earthquake ever recorded at Campi Flegre in documented history. Families ran into the streets, buildings cracked, alarms screamed across the city. And here's the part that should make your blood run cold. Tens of families still cannot return to their homes. Six months later, they're living in temporary housing, wondering if they'll ever go back. But the earthquakes didn't stop, they accelerated. From December 18th to December 25th, Christmas week, 95 more earthquakes rattled this volcanic caldera. The ground has now risen 1.4 meters. That's over four and a half feet of vertical uplift. Roads that were once level are now buckled. Boats that floated freely in the harbor are now sitting on dry land. And the fault. It's concentrating more than 50% of all seismic energy in the region. Now, I need you to understand something. Campi Flegre isn't just any volcano. This is a supervolcano. An eight mile wide collapsed crater that last erupted in 1538. When it blew, it created an entirely new mountain in just three days. Monte Nuovo, the new mountain, rose from nothing and the eruption forced entire communities to flee. That was five centuries ago. And geologists will tell you. The warning signs then were almost identical to what's happening right now. So why is this fault forming? What does it mean for Naples, for Pozzuoli, for the three million people living in the shadow of this caldera? Yeah, and most importantly, could this be the beginning of something catastrophic? Imagine being a parent in Pozzuoli right now. Your child comes home from school and asks, why does the ground keep shaking? Are we safe? What do you say? Do you tell them about the red phone at the monitoring center, the direct line to Rome, that gets tested twice every single day, just in case? Do you explain that scientists are watching every tremor, every millimeter of ground movement, every change in gas emissions? Or do you just hold them close and hope that the next earthquake isn't the one that changes everything? In October of 2025, a groundbreaking study published in Communications, Earth, and Environment confirmed what scientists feared, but couldn't prove until now. The rocks beneath Campi Flegre have passed their elastic limit. They've reached what researchers call critical failure conditions. Translation, the ground was bending under pressure for years. Now, it's breaking. And when rock breaks at this scale, it doesn't just crack. It creates pathways. Pathways for magma. Pathways for catastrophic rupture. This isn't speculation. This isn't fear-mongering. This is happening right now. Over 6,400 earthquakes have struck Campi Flegre in 2025 alone. A new fault is literally tearing open the earth beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions. Um, December 18th to 25th, seven days. 95 earthquakes. But here's what makes this different from anything we've seen before. These aren't random tremors scattered across the region. They're focused, concentrated. Over 50% of the seismic energy is now hitting one specific fault plane. A fracture running at an orientation of 249 degrees beneath Pozzoli and Bagnoli. This fault didn't exist three years ago. 
In 2023, the ground was still bending. It was elastic. Imagine pressing down on a flexible surface. It dips, but when you release, it bounces back. That's what Campi Flegre was doing for decades. But sometime between 2023 and 2024, something changed. The rocks reached their breaking point. They stopped bending and started fracturing, permanently, 1.4 meters. That's how much the ground has risen since 2005, 20 years of slow, relentless uplift. To put that in perspective, the port of Pozuale, once a bustling harbor, now has boats sitting on exposed seabed. Docks that were underwater are now dry. Fences that marked boundaries in the water are now standing above the surface like tombstones. So, what's causing this? Three forces working together like a perfect storm. First, there's magma, a massive chamber sitting three to four kilometers beneath the Solfatara crater, slowly pushing upward. Second, there's groundwater. A Stanford University study published in May 2025 revealed something shocking. It's not just magma causing the uplift. Superheated water trapped in a geothermal reservoir is expanding, adding pressure from below. And when they snap, they don't just crack quietly. They send shockwaves. They create earthquakes. They form faults. The October study used tomography, essentially a CT scan of the Earth, and found fractures at depths between 3 and 5 kilometers. Here's what I need you to think about. If the ground beneath your city had risen 4.5 feet in 20 years, if 95 earthquakes hit in one week, if scientists confirmed a new fault was tearing open beneath you, would you stay? Would you pack up and leave? Or would you wait and hope the experts are wrong? Drop your answer in the comments. Because this isn't just about posually. This is about what any of us would do when faced with a danger we can't see, but can definitely feel. After the 4.6 magnitude earthquake on June 30th, dozens of families were forced to evacuate. Six months have passed. Christmas just came and went, and they still can't go home. Their houses are structurally unsafe. Walls have fissures running floor to ceiling. Some buildings have been red-tagged, condemned until engineers can determine if they'll survive the next big shake. Imagine packing a suitcase thinking you'll be gone for a few days, then a few weeks, then months. Your kids ask when they can sleep in their own beds again. You don't have an answer. Because <laughs> nobody does. It's not just homes. The port of Pozzuoli is in chaos. Ships that once docked easily now scrape against seabeds that have risen too high. Roads are buckling. The ground doesn't rise evenly. It bulges, creating humps and dips that crack asphalt and twist metal. So here's the question everyone's asking. Could Campi Flegre erupt? And if it does, how much warning will we have? Let's look at history. 1538. The last time this supervolcano erupted, Monte Nuovo, the new mountain, exploded into existence in just three days. Witnesses reported intense earthquakes for 72 hours before the ground tore open, and a brand new volcanic cone rose from nothing. Three days. That's all the warning people had. Now compare that to today. Scientists have the most advanced monitoring network ever deployed on a volcano. No, 80, 20 GPS stations tracking every millimeter of ground movement. 20 seismic sensors recording every tremor. Gas detectors measuring carbon dioxide and sulfur emissions in real time. Satellite radar imaging the entire caldera from space. And that red phone, the direct line to Rome's civil protection, tested twice every single day. Three possible futures. First scenario. The earthquakes continue but eventually stabilize. The fault stops growing. The uplift slows down. Life goes on with constant tremors becoming the new normal. This is what happened in the 1980s. 40,000 people were evacuated from Pozzuoli. Many never returned. But the caldera didn't erupt. It just stayed restless. Second scenario. A major earthquake. Not volcanic, 
just tectonic. The fault ruptures violently. Buildings collapse. The magnitude 6 or 7 quake that scientists have warned could happen if stress keeps building. Devastating, but not an eruption. If you live in the Campi Flegre area, here's what you need to do right now. First, have an evacuation bag ready. Documents, medications, cash, phone charges, mu, car. Keep it by your door. Second, know your evacuation road. 95 earthquakes in one week. A new fault tearing open the earth. Half a million people living on top of a supervolcano that's more active now than it's been in 40 years. This isn't a disaster movie. This is real life. If you want to stay updated on Campi Flegre and volcanic hazards around the world, hit that subscribe button right now. Because this story isn't over. Not by a long shot.